Okay guys, we're gonna look at date and time functions in Microsoft Excel. So let's get started. First of all, we're gonna look at the date function. What does the date function do? Well, uh, it provides the date. I mean, it's actually pretty easy, but have a look here. I'm gonna show you exactly what it does. Equals date, all right? And we give it the year, the month, the day year, month, day. Those are the three things that the date function requires. Now we can type them in like I have done here. 2021, the month is the first month, the day is the first day, and then, whoops, and then we can format that uh, any way that we want. We can also then use things like cell references to provide the date day or month, uh, date, month or day. So for example, here you can see the date function, the year is actually provided by cell G3. The rest is provided by me manually. So equals date. And if I go and type in, you know, 2029, okay, 2029, then it updates that automatically. So that is pretty much what the date function does. Year, month, day, you can provide those yourself manually, or you can get them from other cells with the numbers for the year, the month, or the day. That's the date. What about the year function? What does the year function do? Well, here we have a date, okay? Friday the 1st of January, 2021. And if I use the year function, the year function extracts the year from a date. So here, for example, I'm using the year function and it says serial number, don't worry about that. It just means that in B5, there's B5, which says Friday the 1st of January 2021, extract the year, and you'll see the answer is 2021. You can even do that, where you go equals year, and as a string, type in a date, and it will extract the year from that date. Okay, just the year. The month, is just like year it extracts the month from a date so you can have equals month b7 b7 is just simply that it's the date or you could type it in as well equals month type in the whole date it extracts the month from there guess what day does just what year and <laughs> the month do as well it's the same thing okay so that's what day does now days this is different and this is cool because you can use this for calculating things, all right? Check this out. So in terms of days, here I have a date. The first the first of the first 2021. That's the first of January this year when I'm recording this, by the way. And then there is a very special date of someone very special. Me, it's my birthday. Hey, now what does days do? Days allows you to work out how many days are between two different dates. Really nice when working out how old someone is or how old something is, all right? For example, here we have the end date, which is today, because that'll be the biggest number, and the start date, which is my birthday. There it is. Now you know when to say happy birthday. And that's what it does. It automatically works out the difference between those two days. That's what the days function does. So I am, today oh no i'm not lying today if if we make it today let's find how old i am today this is going to be so cool i am 16722 days old you know what let's just do this there we go that's how old i am today 16722 <laughs> anyway let's keep going oh caramba because we know how many days old I am, we can even now calculate how old I am in years. Just take the number of days divided by 365.25. Why 365.25? Because that's how many days are in a year. Duh. Okay. Cool. Now, what does the hour function do? Hour. Well, if we have a formula if the formula if we have a cell that contains data in a time format, as you can see here. 10:35. This hour will extract the hour from the time, okay, which is 10. So the hour in 10:35, it's 10. All right. Here's another one. If I give it something like hour and I give it a time, it'll extract just the time, the hour from that time, which is 19. Okay, is that making sense? Okay, I hope that is. All right. 
minutes is the same as our it extracts the minutes so there you can see minute b15 what is b15 b15 is 8 15 in the morning so what are the minutes the minutes are 15 there they are 15 uh, if I give it a time like minutes 1945 okay that's 7 45 p.m. the minutes are going to be 45 there it is now seconds also the same thing guys I mean you're sensing a pattern here aren't you seconds extracts the seconds from a time uh, data okay now what about time the time function what does that do well here I have a number in cell b19 8 here I have a number in cell D19, which is 55, and here I have another number in cell F19, which is 13. If I use the time function, I can say, right, the hour is in that cell, the minutes get from that cell, and the seconds you get from that cell. And it actually then puts it together as a time format. So you can create time code, time codes, or time formats based on separate inputs so there you can see time b19 d19 f19 and that's what the time format does easy peasy watch if i change this to 21 okay watch 9 55 p.m automatically all right obviously you can format that you know change the number custom you can change it to 24 hour clock if you want to and of course now is the only function here that does not need anything doesn't need you doesn't need me doesn't need arguments it always wins every argument that was terrible however you just put now open parentheses close parentheses voila what does now give us well it gives us now it gives us now the date and the time the date and the time now okay and these are your various date and time functions that you can use so I will create an activity for you and you can now use these to work out all kinds of things I mean you can work out how long it takes someone to do something for example on a job for example or how old somebody is or um, the dates between a starting date and an end date of something for example okay so um, there you go